Izzy here, um, coming to you today with a character kind of a reveal rebuild as well as some DPS testing. Um, this character, Keza Proto, um, is actually the character I did most of the gameplay videos with uh, like two years ago. Um, and I've recently changed them quite a bit. I have altered it so that instead of healing, this character now has um, Majory. Um, and I've never built a character like this that has mixed stats quite so much. Um, so I'm interested to see how it will work out. And the best way I know to do that is really just to go out and test this build with um, some good old fashioned DPS testing. And I actually have a video on what this DPS testing is. If you're interested, I have a link here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out with my imps. Um, and I'm going to head over to Death Star. It's going to be so weird to have a Dexter Tamer that can gate around their own pets. I've never built a character like this. Get the skills open. Um, Hmm, so I'm actually going to need to set my uh, weapon to arm here. Hang on. Target. So what I plan on doing is um, using Bless on myself. Oh, I'll target myself anyway. Um, so this will raise my strength and dexterity up to 100, giving me basically the full benefits of a complete Dexer, and then I can just throw on my regular Dexer stuff here and go do my thing. Um, the DPS testing part is really just how quickly can you kill a dragon. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll be speeding up parts of the video, um, as I'll have to fight a lot of garbage in Death Star like this. Um, but it'll be it'll be interesting. Um, and I have this character with the imps. The heck, no gold. Is there a thief running around Death Star stealing their gold. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'll have this character run around with the imps, and then I also need to test them with um, my polar bear pack, which I'll get to later. I don't know if I'll have time for it right now. Come on, where are all the dragons at? likely a uh, a blue character looking for bunnies. There are currently bunnies out and about. So nice that the imps can heal themselves too. Come on. Yeah, so these, this build has no trouble with um, drakes, of course. So these ones have gold. Just randomly that one monster didn't have gold. Oh, and a platinum. Lucky me. Okay, two dragons. I don't want to pull them both. And since this character has Majory, I can uh, more likely do that. can paralyze one of them or something. You're a drake, not a dragon. Well, I might have gotten a dragon as well, I don't know. Come on, I only want to fight one of you at a time. My imps really don't have that many hit points. If you guys are wondering, these imps have like 116 hit points or something. I think that's close to their max. So 
So I'm not going to bless myself until right before I know I can fight that dragon. I seem to do well enough um, at the uh, 89 and 89 for all this lesser stuff. Coming over here? Yes, you are. Wow, that fire breath is painful. Ugh. So this is where I have a timer running from the beginning of the fight to the end to see if I can uh, get a dragon to go down quickly. Despite not having many hit points, um, well, imps heal between the imp healing itself and me healing it um, every three seconds, they can actually tank pretty well. So, I'm not watching the clock right now. I'll go back later through this recording and figure out what exactly the times are on all that stuff. I'll loot bone arms. They might be worth it. Oh, he cured himself. Dang. Losing the weapon while you're uh, casting is definitely a disadvantage. I always liked running healing because um, you don't have to disarm your weapon for healing yourself. Um, I have the advantage of curing my pet now if it gets poisoned, so I don't have to heal through the poison. Or do vetting through the poison, I should say. This one, uh, this one has buffed itself up to 124 hit points. Hmm. At some point they might reach closer to GM Majory. It's not that important to me right now. Alright, so that's two dragon kills. Keep going around here and see what else I can find. Oh, a slime. Can't target it yet. You may think I'm crazy, but you actually should loot these things if you can. Ugh. It's on that dang slope. It's not worth it. sure where this dragon came from. Damn. One thing's for sure, he does not like uh, my imps. And unfortunately, one of them is right underneath him. <laughs> and as soon as it attacks him, it's going to get aggro. Just like that. Now see, normally I would be able to 
heal myself in between healing the imps, but I don't want to disarm my weapon. So that dragon fight's going to be a little bit longer than the others because I lost an imp at the beginning. I was thinking like, hey, look, the uh, the champ spawn's not up, but it actually is. It's just been cleared in this area because these dragons keep on killing all that stuff. myself uh, blessed for these dragon fights. So when I time them out, um, I always have it timed with the full 100-100. That and it gives me the three second heals I need. Well, I guess I don't really need them for a simple dragon fight. Ooh, lots of loot. don't want my imps teleporting down there. I don't remember if dragons have the smart pathing or not. I know they're, uh, they're a caster AI. Hmm. Did not use his fire breath on me. you're wondering, these imps do hit quite hard. It doesn't say they hit hard on the website, but they have um, pack instinct. So whatever the website says they hit for, you times it by almost two, and that's about what their damage is. Take that. Just part of the reason why they do so much damage here. I think someone must have gotten that Easter Bunny because I don't see it around here anymore. I don't need to kill a Drake. It's a free kill. got that. I need to test my DPS on this dragon. <laughs> Make sure 
where everyone's actually attacking it. He's got that kill. Doesn't need my help. What is this Fluffy this year, anyway? Hmm. Oh, that's strength. The Dex isn't bad, either. Quite high skills. This definitely looks like a boss. dragon kill him. I have to go to the bank again. Um, yeah, also having, not having maximum uh, strength at all times is a little strange. Can't carry as much. Oh, there he is. Get this uh, Drake out of the way. Almost max hit point Drake. Oh, a treasure map. Oh. Oh, he's actually farming this area. Probably a uh, Provo Tamer, if I had to guess. A good build for this um, area, of course. Alright, well, since there's someone else here, I'm just going to go ahead and bank what I have now. Put these guys somewhere relatively safe. Whoa. Alright, well, this probably won't go well. Nope, not going well. <laughs> hmm, alright. <clears throat> when things are not going well, you come in with a second character. That, uh, if you saw, that dragon and wyvern spawned right on top of me. Um, which is why it's a good idea to have a Provo Tamer in those areas. Night sight. And let's see who's dead. You're not dead. Yeah, it's about to die. 
I might make it. All right. I believe I'm applying bandages. Both characters. Damn. I tried. <clears throat> Sometimes things get messy and you have to clean it up with your other character. Right. That will kill the dragon. <laughs> and I need to stop dying on this character. Sorry you had to witness that. It was so violent. <laughs> Although good for you to see that, you know, death happens to us all. Okay. Let's get this. Follow me. Back to testing against just single dragons. After I got massacred, um, we'll see if the damage is greatly different now that all of my imps have uh, minus three to all of their skills. Some of them more than minus three. <laughs> Doesn't really matter whether their skills are, you know, exactly GM or not. Um, doesn't make the uh, world of difference in their overall DPS. As long as all their skills are, I'd say, 95 to 100, they should be fine. So far this um, using Majory instead of healing isn't that bad. Um, I just need to get more used to um, weapon swapping basically. And if you're wondering why I have 17 meditation it's because I have put this character in all leather. Um, I am a little concerned about their overall uh, Mana recovery time, or mana, whichever you want to call it. People are out and about hunting down Fluffy. I think they got him. Yeah. So many people in Death Star. And yet no one's even tried to kill me. How disappointing. No, it's actually a good thing. I'm, I'm sure they're all wondering what in the world I'm doing here with imps. Like you should be out killing Easter bunnies. I'll get to killing Easter bunnies in time. Not my goal for today. Ooh, it looks like I might get to do a um, mage tower in the middle of this. Let's just go to Mula. gate myself around. That's right.
All right, and then which location was it? I did uh, 39 North. So I have a ruin book with all the mage towers in it. Ah, it's this one. I just got done fighting a bunch of these things. So there is currently a bug in the game where monsters that are supposed to be fighting on the same team, like these two, when they spawn they get some kind of an aggro loop and they get stuck fighting each other. Um, and they just keep on trying to aggro anything near them, even other um, red NPCs. So when they spawn and you first run up to them, it's kind of a funny sight. You see a, uh, a general fight to the last man standing kind of thing. Uh, Telamon is aware of this bug, by the way. He's looked into it and he's kind of confused by why all of these um, same team NPCs are trying to kill each other. And there definitely seems to be some error with how they spawn. But I'm not 100% sure. Get through this world save and then I'll show you what's on top of this tower. So, Evil Mage Towers are just a standard player tower without the doors that has been spawned in the same way um, regular NPC camps spawn. But they spawn at specific locations, and it's quite rare. You get about one every maybe six hours, I'd say. And other people are also... Uh, watching them so it's hard to find them and get them before someone else does. So this is the one with the warrior boss. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy so no one else comes to this location right away. It's not the one being hit. And I'm just gonna release him. You're the one being hit. And a great thing to do at the beginning of this type of boss fight is curse them and poison them. They're resistant to poison, but it's helpful. I'll loot this guy. Did he just teleport? Goodness. I'm hoping this poison will just slowly kill them all. Bolt to you. 
What? You didn't die from that? Wow. These things are being extra annoying today. And of course I'm forgetting to heal my Drake. There we go. Wow, those little side minions are usually not such an issue. Anyways, um, yeah, this guy has a lot of hit points. <laughs> the actual main boss. It's almost gone now. And there is a slim chance that he will drop um, a blood tile. Oh, I don't need him to hit me. Didn't mean to do that. Just takes a long time to kill. Alright, he's down. Um, not seeing any blood tile on the ground. So these clothes are actually a rare hue. You can type hue and find out that they are um, hue 1717. And this one, his apron, is actually hue, let's find out, uh, 1109. A very sought after hue. Um, let me drop a good amount of gold. Not great, but good. Um, so yeah. That's essentially the evil mage tower. There are three variations. This one is just one of the three. Oh, I'll leave that drake stuck up there for a minute. I just need to kill this guy. And there is a small chest to loot down here, a small crate, and then the main chest up top. Alright, I am back to Death Star, and hopefully back to getting single dragons to fight this one. One of my imps, uh, Majory, hasn't dropped down so low that they can't cast Flame Strike. <laughs> oh, this one has 75 Majory. Uh, they need they need some serious training though. They've been slaughtered so many times. I've honestly lost track of um, how many dragons I've killed now. All their deaths. All my imps deaths, that is. Who's died more, dragons or imps today? Let's find out. perfect dragon that I'm killing or anything. It's actually pretty easy to keep my character um, blessed like this. I can usually do it, yeah, I see it just goes but at the end of the second dragon fight, so it lasts plenty long, I think. Reflect and oh, I want another bless. Azura Dragon. 
Yeah. <clears throat> Not with this character. Oh, but I should kill it. Alright. Your turn again. This video is turning into quite the crossover. Gotta run this character back. And... There's a reason I keep Death Start in my primary rune book. Things get crazy here and I need to come back often with other characters. Okay. One Azura Dragon coming up. Oh, and an Easter Bunny. I can kill him while I have my Drakes out. This will work out well. Poisoned himself. Alright. I need to get whoever's being damaged here. It's not you. Okay, I need to get you healing. Sorry, it's going to be a little odd jumping like this. So I have three drakes and um, four imps attacking this Azura. And now that I have that, bless back up. I can actually throw this character into my three second vet loop, which should help. This character can't do a three second vet loop, they just don't have enough decks. a little while, but I'll get him. I imagine Fluffy would take about this long as well. Uh, you know what really helps with these is um, scorpions. I don't have any with me at the moment. something funny just because. Stall you. Grab. Deadly scorpions. They're actually just regular scorpions, but it works. This character had the uh, vet covered. I figured I'd bring in the scorpions anyway. Useful to have a character with so many things stable. Where's that last one? Um, so now that Azura is going to have to deal with all the greater and deadly poison constantly getting landed on it. Which is actually more useful than having just a third drake there. Uh, Alright. So I'm going to leave this character hitting the Azura. Uh, 
vetting the right people. Definitely a difficult thing to take out um, on a single character. Man, how many hit points does this have? 3,700. It wasn't that dandy. Armor rating 80. <laughs> Nuts. This would definitely go down a lot faster if I was using my off starts and stuff with it, but all right. Twelve bandages left. Wow, I have two characters vetting. And his Drake is still going down. This character is getting the bandage warning. Go ahead and stop that macro now. Just hurry up and die already. There we go. Both characters get a platinum. And this character... I'm actually going to give my plat to this guy. And yeah, why not? Hard to move. Let's see how much loot. 4k. Ton of gems and stuff. Go ahead and cut the quartz. Ooh. Two pack meat. I'll ID those weapons later. They might be pretty nice. Who knows? All right, so that was the Azura. Um, so I'm going to take this character back to town. I'm trying to get these solo dragon fights more. Come on, stay over here. little delay at the beginning of that fight, it's alright. It's um, most ideal if I can run up and everyone starts hitting the dragon at almost the same time. But I'm not trying to cheat the uh, my DPS testing system. There will be times when either myself or my imps don't get to the target right away. And that's just part of the build. One of the advantages of using just two dragons is that they'll typically both reach the target, you know, all the time. <laughs> Unless you're fighting in a really cramped space. That. I always just love going around on foot. It doesn't really matter what character. Um, it's just the hit graphics and stuff. Everything looks so much better that way, in my opinion.
another Easter button. And there's a dead imp. I'm guessing you know who that's from. <laughs> oh man. Alright, let me go see if I can find that guy. I'll show you what we've been doing. Um, killing these Easter bunnies together. As you can probably assume, he uh, he takes them with his dragons. Bless up and running if I can. And I fixed the macro, so now I have the lantern re-equipping itself as well. didn't open. That's weird. Ooh, I always take magic weapons. Where are you at? That guy was just over here. Alright, well, I'm gonna take out this dragon then. Ooh. Do I have a night sight potion on me? Or did I forget to bring one? I think I'm all out. Oh well. Now you get to see the fight with nothing but my lantern for light. It's so dark and spooky. And bye bye dragon. Eh, I need to go back anyways. I had planned on doing um, DPS testing with that character using polar bears as well, but I just ran out of time. I got distracted with the Azura and Mage Towers and stuff. Um, so I'll just use the polar bears uh, to go against Fluffy in a later video. You can see the DPS results of this character using the imps, uh, bringing in a total of about um, 201 when you uh, add all that up, you just divide that by 10 and it gives you the DPS, which for this character is about 20. Hopefully my next video will have some more material on Easter and the St. Patrick's Day kind of combined event that's going on. Um, but that is all I have time for now. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys all around later.